Ashley Turner. I'm a yoga instructor and a body-mind psychotherapist in Santa Monica, California. My website is ashleyturner.org and I specialize in yoga psychology and really bridging the Eastern and the Western approaches to health and happiness, integrating yoga, meditation, mindfulness, and then the Western approaches um, of psychotherapy. So I bring in a lot of neurobiology and I'm really interested in how the mind and the body actually intersect. So I work with the chakra system specifically. I'm up here at Wanderlust actually in Squaw Valley and I just taught a class on the chakra system. And one of the reasons that I, I really focalize on the chakra system is because it's a mapping of how our consciousness and our different emotional layers, different levels of personality development and human development live in our bodies and how they affect different organs, different regions of our bodies. Um, I got really interested in this when I was in graduate school. I went to Pacifica Graduate Institute in Carpinteria, California. And it's a very Jungian-based program of psychology. And we actually have Joseph Campbell's library at Pacifica. So we use a lot of um, archetypes and myth and symbolism. And I just found that through all the different symbols and different wisdom traditions across the world, you get down to the root and it's all ways of depicting human consciousness and all the full spectrum of who we are, all of our emotions, all of the different rites of passage that we go through. So I ended up writing my thesis on the integration of yoga and psychology. I actually had been teaching yoga for 10 years in Santa Monica and I found that you know, there were certain, you bring people into a yoga class, you bring people into a workshop or a retreat setting, and a lot of stuff opens up in a lot of people's emotions. bodies, in their lives. People start to see things differently and ask different questions. And I didn't have the skills and the tools to be able to then take them where they needed to go once they were off the mat. And just, it didn't really feel right for me to just leave people in this really open space having all this material come up, I really wanted to understand it more and I really wanted to develop a language and a skill set to be able to work with people as well as understand the Western perspective and a more medical perspective of consciousness and how our consciousness lives in our bodies, how it affects our emotions, how it affects our lives, so that I could then take all of the yoga, the meditation and the um, wisdom traditions and all the study that I had done in the yoga world and bring it into a more mainstream or medical uh, model and be able to meet them where they are and, and speak a language that that you know is maybe more well versed and break down the concepts of yoga in a way that's really applicable so and practical. My passion is this union of the Eastern and Western, the union of you know where does yoga, meditation, mindfulness leave off and where does psychotherapy come in and serve different needs slightly and what are the holes in you know western psychology and how does yoga meditation mindfulness wisdom traditions of the east really fill in what's missing in psychotherapy so um that's been my practice for the last couple years and i'm really passionate about it i travel all around the country leading workshops and it's amazing to see people and what happens when you know, the way that I present this material and people just light bulbs are going off in people's minds and it's like they've never heard it's it's wisdom and understanding that they've always known and all of a sudden they're reminded it's of it. It's actually very yeah. logical on one level um, the chakra system or how the body connects with the emotions the endocrine system um, biochemistry how our biochemistry affects our brain chemistry how our brain chemistry affects the thought forms and the emotions that we're then manufacturing. So it, it, it's just been really rewarding for me to see um, sort of this whole, you know, this whole sector of the yoga world really break open where people have felt like they wanted a different understanding and it's just these so aha moments. Private clients so come to me through yoga and meditation. So all of my clients actually are already doing yoga and meditating. So then we can drop a lot deeper in the work that we do together one-on-one -on -one and we dig into the sutras more and different meditative practices or maybe we'll work with certain mantras over time as well as investigating and understanding 
you know, their family of origin uh, issues or past traumas, unresolved emotions that people might be working with and, and really kind of angle, we can, we can hit it from any angle, which is so helpful for people because you never know what, what doorway is gonna open for you. You know, some of us, the doorway is the physical body and we can really understand and heal and transform in that way. Um, other people are much more adept in the emotional realm or in the mental realm. Having and I just find toolbox is really beneficial for everyone because you never know at what point in your life or you know, different personality types, different constitutions, people need to be approached in different ways. So it's, it's, it's remarkable. In, in the long run, you know, the psychology of yoga and meditation is a much broader understanding of the human experience than traditional Western psychotherapy. And so where psychotherapy leaves off, the yoga and the meditation comes in. And yoga is not just, you know, not just a physical asana, but yoga itself is a psychology, is a psychology. It's a psychological, sutras are a psychological text of how to work with the nature of our mind, how to build habits that are beneficial. Um, but vice versa, a lot of people get into yoga and they are, you know, or other spiritual traditions. And we have sort of this tendency just to transcend and try to get up and out of, you know, try to remain really equanimous and really calm and really peaceful. When in fact, there's a lot of unresolved, deeper emotional wounds that are still embedded in the physical body and still playing themselves out in our lives. So unless we have the tools to be able to go back in and really start to uncover and investigate, okay, what are the patterns? You know, what are my family of origin patterns? What are the assumptions that I have about the world? And they're forming my personality and the way that I relate to people. So I find that having psychological tools and you know, one-on-one -on -one time with people, coaching people is just enormously beneficial. And then also integrating it with the yoga.